The armed forces of the Russian Federation continue the special military operation in Ukraine. The surrender of fighters from Azov Nationalist Unit and Ukrainian servicemen blocked at the Azov Stahl plant in Mariupol began yesterday. Over the past 24 hours, 265 militants have laid down arms and surrendered, including 51 seriously wounded. All those in need of medical assistance were sent for treatment to a hospital in Novozovsk, Donetsk People's Republic. High-precision long-range sea-based caliber missiles near Staruche railway station in Lvov region have destroyed the personnel of Ukrainian reserve formations as well as shipments of foreign weapons and military equipment from the United States and European countries prepared for shipment to Donbass. High-precision air and ground-based long-range missiles have destroyed enemy reserves that were completing their combat coordination at the training centers near Aktyrka, Sumy region and Disna, Chernigov region. High-precision air-based missiles of the Russian Aerospace Forces have hit two command posts and one communication center, including those of the 30th Mechanized Brigade near Bakhmut. 28 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration and two missile artillery weapons and ammunition depot near Ogledar and Konstantinovka in Donetsk People's Republic. The attacks have resulted in the elimination of more than 470 nationalists and up to 68 armored and motor vehicles. In addition, one traction power substation has been destroyed near Merefa railway station in Kharkov region, which was delivering weapons and military equipment from the United States and Western countries to Donbass. Operational tactical and dummy aviation have hit nine command posts, 93 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration, as well as three ammunition depots near Luparova and Shevchenkova in Nikolaev region. Missile troops and artillery have hit six command posts, 224 areas of Ukrainian manpower and military equipment concentration, 12 artillery and motor batteries at firing positions, 4 BM-21 Grad multiple launch rocket system batteries and two air target detection radar stations. Russian air defense means have shot down 23 Ukrainian unmanned aerial vehicles over Pitomnik, Izum, Snishkovka, Olkovatovka, Dementievka, Ruskaya Lazovaya, Bolshiye Prokhody and Petrovskaya in Kharkov region, Staromikhailovka, Novotamarovka, Novotroyetskaya, Nevelskaya, Sverdlova, Avdeevka and Vladimirovka in Donetsk People's Republic. Eight smudge rockets have been intercepted near Chernobyevka, Kherson region. Yesterday, between 10 and 11 a.m., Ukrainian nationalists used smudge multiple rocket launchers to hit residential areas of Kherson. Russian air defense means have intercepted all 10 Ukrainian rockets. I would like to stress that there are no units of Russian troops in Kherson. The Kiev regime is well informed about this. The strike was deliberately targeted at civilians in Kherson in retaliation for supporting the Russian Federation. In total, 168 Ukrainian aircraft and 125 helicopters, 912 unmanned aerial vehicles, 309 anti-aircraft missile systems, 3,134 tanks and other armored combat vehicles, 385 multiple launch rocket systems, 1,542 field artillery and motors, as well as 2,983 units of special military vehicles were destroyed during the operation.